Once known as the Dark City because it had no electricity, this is Alexandra, or Alex, as most locals call it. It's a sprawling community located between the posh suburbs of Santon and the flank of the N3 highway. In 2011, the Reconstruction and Development Program was implemented to provide housing to millions of poor South Africans. However, the system has had its fair share of criticism due to the demand and supply of houses needed. Mrs. Regina Jabu Pagati has been waiting for an RDP house since 1996. To this day, she has been staying in her leaking shack and has no hope for the future. I applied for an RDP house in 1996 at the offices up the road. I got the house and then all of a sudden we were told we have to pay rent. After we were renting, they told us they are going to move us to Tsutsuman. While we were waiting for that move, Tsutsuman was getting occupied by other tenants. They told us that people that stay at Tsutsuman have to have money. Unfortunately, I don't have money, and that's how I got left out. Then they said we'll be put in a different place and mixed with others who come from the renting area. Then they moved us. We got left behind. Then it was announced that we're going to 12th Avenue. They said we must bring copies of our forms with another 70 rand. After all that up and down, this man took our money to speak on our behalf. Till this day, nothing has happened. Living with her adopted child, Mrs. Pagati doesn't really care to vote in this year's election because she doesn't think she'll see any change. I wouldn't say I've benefited because I'm living in a leaking shack and I don't see the beauty of South Africa at all because of my condition. On the other hand, Mrs. Tandiwe Mtobeni is a self-employed RDP house owner living with her six-year-old daughter. She says she is grateful for the program. When the opportunity came, I just went and applied because then I was unemployed. So they were looking for people like that to benefit. So that's what I did. That's why today I'm having this house because I follow all the procedures. Not only did government give her a new home, but her child is in a Model C school and paying only 100 rand a month thanks to government funding. She believes that those that aren't benefiting are ignorant to the opportunities. With us, the problem is people that don't know these things and they are ignorant. So they need to go to, to the centers, um, what do we call them? They, the community centers, they need to attend meetings, they need to know things which are happening. Because truly speaking, I've benefited. We have streets, we have uh, lights in our street, we have a whole lot of things. So I'm a beneficiary and I'm not complaining at all. With the elections, for Tandiwe, voting is essential and a way of showing gratitude for how her life has changed since democracy. There is a change. If I have to compare my life now with 20 years ago, it's much better. Truly speaking, I, I have benefited so, so much. Trinity Mushlame is a station manager at Alex FM. The local radio station has become a platform for the community to raise their concerns. Trinity says he has heard both the good and bad about the RDP housing and believes it needs more time. I personally think the government is hearing the people of Alex, hence the developments that are taking place in Alex. You know, we just from an RDP settlement with more than 30,000 RDP houses. That's a sign that the government is listening. But uh, I, I need to also be honest and say, um, in a place like Alex where housing is a very serious issue and matter and there's also a space issue, you know, where and how do you move people and ensure that everybody has got their own house? It's not easy, uh, but at the same time, I think uh, leadership needs a, a lot of creativity, you know, and, and we, within confided spaces that we live in in Alex, there's going to be some form of creativity as to how they can address this matter. And I, I, I think there's a lack in that regard. It's not that uh, we're, we're not doing enough over a period of time. If we're saying that in 2012 we had uh, 532 informal settlement and 
uh, it tells you that there's a lot that we're doing, but we're not doing enough because the target is not moving downwards, it's moving upwards. That there's a lot that, uh, there are a lot of people that are coming in Gauteng. Providing shelter for the South African citizens is a noble and justified idea from government. However, the implementation is more complicated than anticipated when allocating housing. Ayanda Sowazi, CNBC Africa, Elections 2014.